Wow, what a, oh my God. Let's get the highlights. This is Liege battle on Liege. Look at this. Roglic gets the win. Rim breaks get the win. All right. This is a critical, pivotal moment in the disc break tyranny. Roglic represents the freedom and liberty for the rim break rider. All right, let's get serious now, no jokes. Um, but seriously, he did win because of rim brakes. If you ride the wheels of a disc brake bike, you'll feel they feel sluggish and heavy because there's an extra half pound attached to the wheels. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. The hubs are heavier and the rotors, 120 grams plus bolts, rotors, locker rings, etc. So you're adding half a pound to your rotating mass. And so you see that Alaphilippe did an amazing ride. He had three bike changes because his pads were rubbing. He had a shoe problem and he got caught up behind a crash. And he still got second place. He did get relegated though because he went off his line. So this is pretty crazy. Roglic got the win. Rim breaks. About 89% of the peloton today had disc brakes. Forced to ride disc brakes. Disc brake tyranny. 89%. Yet we see 40% of riders, including the winner, in the top 10 on rim brakes. Poggy, Roglic, the Slovenian rim brake lovers. Look at that. He's doing the, you know, he's, he's putting his chest out there. He's putting his chest right out there. A little Frenchie, putting it out there. And Roglic is like, buddy, this is the old lady. And the old lady hasn't sung yet. And I'm going to be singing. And I'm going to be winning on my rim break. Look at that. So, this, this is iconic. What would have been worse is if J.A. was on his SL7, SL6 rather, rim break bike, he would have won. But then he would have got relegated for his sprint, which was way too aggressive. It was a dodgy sprint. So I think the relegation was fair. Um... But J.A., you don't need to do dodgy stuff, bro. No one, that's just dangerous. You know, what are you doing? But anyway, Roglic for the win. That was some serious drama. Serious drama. <laughs> Even Pogacar's like laughing already. He's like, holy mamma mia. And uh, Hershey's on the dentist bike. He's thinking, oh, what if? What if it's on the R5 rim brake? You know, Hershey gets paid a bonus for his Savella S5. And uh, it's been doing him pretty well. He's a... Uh, He's, or I should say he's been doing really well and the bikes has come along for the party. But imagine Hershey on an R5. It's like, ouch. He'd probably be a world champion. He probably would have won Lies, Lies, Bass and Lies today if he's on rim break. These Cervelo S5s I've ridden on before, man, talk about sluggish and heavy. They look cool. They look cool. They're a dentist bike. They're a, you know, they're a fashion bike. I can't believe this Hershey guy. This this guy is definitely a hurricane. That's crazy to ride that fast on such a heavy bike. Roglic, given the kiss, looks super fresh. He's got the Viagra eye going on there, a bit of redness. Keeps you warm. It's totally legal. Interesting sock choice. Um, no gloves. What's this, what's this no glove thing? People taking the piss or what? No gloves. Jesus, mama me leers. You know? And back here, we see the disc brake guys. It's a rim brake down the middle. Looks like, like a Pragma glycogen. Hmm. Um, but yeah, this is uh, yeah, it's very cut. This is a classic photo, isn't it? A classic photo up the red route. And a lot of blue in the peloton this year. A lot of blue. A lot of blue. And uh, we've got Mads Pedersen in the mask. And Richie, Richie Port. Very aggressive riding by Richie. He's doing, he's doing quite well. In Flash Wallon on the other Wednesday, and now in LBL, he's up the front. Pretty aggressive riding there. And uh, Julian Alaphilippe, incredible ride. Incredible ride, man. Incredible ride. Primo and uh, Poggy Car. Rim brakes, look at that. Just towing them along. These disc brake riders are sitting on the rim brake riders, you know. So that was, uh, wow, look at that. On the line, that's the difference right there, baby. Rim versus if, if Alaphilippe was on his SL6 rim brake, he would have won it, but then got relegated. relegated. What, what would feel worse, being relegated or getting relegated to second from Roglic? You know, I think, I think it, it, J.A. is probably happy that Roglic won. 
He was so close, though, was he? So close. I remember actually rode with Julian Alaphilippe, I think it was back in 2014, when he was a Neo Pro, his first race ever was Tour de Lander, pretty sure. Um, but yeah, he uh, rode with him, and he was a bit of a character. Super, super high energy dude. Anyway, that's the deal. Rim breaks for the win, marginal gains. Liège, Baston Liège, the oldest, m- m- <laughs> the oldest monument in the world won by rim breaks. Old break tech beats new break tech. Hands down for the win. Discs for dirt, rim for road, please. Especially in World Tour.